Hi, I'm here from Aunt M's Quilt and M's Scrap Bag, and today I'm going to show you how to make this colorful butterfly block. It uses the AccuQuilt Go and crumb fabric. If you're not familiar with crumb fabric, I do have a video on how to make it, and I will put that link up above and a, a link in the description so that you can learn how. And if you like playing with crumb fabric, make sure to check out my book, Crumb Quilt. Not only does it show how to make crumb fabric, it shows you how to use it in many different ways, from piecing to applique um, to backgrounds. So lots of fun ideas in crumb quilts. So thanks for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe. Let's get started. To get started with our crumb butterfly block, we're going to need some crumbs. So we have these fun. This is my crumb bin. Lots of fun different fabrics in there and we're going to take those crumbs and we're going to turn it into crumb fabric. And you can use my video tutorial. I'll put or I'll put a tag up above and a link down below so that you can learn how to make crumb fabric. So once we get our crumb fabric made, we're going to use our AccuQuilt butterfly die. I will put a link for this in the description below so that you can buy it if you don't already have it. And we're just gonna load up this die. So this is the body of the butterfly. This is some of the background. More background here. Then I look at my crumb fabric and I decide what I want the bottom wings to be and then I cut me a strip. I have all this information if you would like to use the simple pattern that I created. It's only a $2 download. It's not expensive. It just gives you all the ins and outs and particulars of making this block, what to cut and how to um, make the quilt that you saw in the thumbnail. And I'm going to take my crumb fabric and see how this is folded because you want the mirror sides of everything. We're going to do that same thing with our crumb fabric. And we're going to put our sheet on and we're going to run this through our go cutter. And once we run it through the go cutter, then we are going to assemble our butterfly. So these are our top wings. We're going to take the C template and it's going to go on either side here. Our body will go down the middle and we'll sew it F to the top and the bottom of that body. I'm going to take our D template and sew it to the bottom of those wings. And we're going to take our bottom wings here. So it's kind of different how they're put together. We're going to put our D background on either side here. And then we're going to take our E and go on either side of that bottom wing. And we're going to sew that all together. So this unit, this unit, this unit, this unit, and this unit. Once we get our units done here, we'll sew the bottom wing to the top wing, and then we'll sew the body in between. So when I press, I press out toward the background for the pieces, and when I sew the two wing sets together, I press toward the lower wings, and then as I sew it in between, the body in between, I press that toward the body. And that will give you the colorful butterfly block. For the wonky setting that you saw in the quilt from the beginning or in the thumbnail, you can use my no waste wonky setting video tutorial or use the pattern that I've created. It's only a $2 download. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.